the flat that I've got at the moment, whilst it's, you know, a home, it's not what I really sort of want to stay in for the rest of my life. Where are you from? I'm from Kilburn in uh, Great London. I'm a uni student at the moment. Um, moved up there because obviously to get close to my uni and sort of network with other musicians around the area. I used to live with my mum and dad. Um, I've done that for around 10 years, you know, and then I only moved out about a year ago. It's, it's good and bad, you know, it's, it's really good because obviously the people that I'm with are absolutely fantastic and, you know, I couldn't ask for anyone better. I guess the only downside is obviously, you know, I'm paying a lot, a lot of money for a, a flat that should realistically cost half that. You know, if I ever look at housing prices up north compared to down here, you know, 200 grand or above just for, you know, a house or a relatively nice one, especially around central London, where it's obviously, you know, the huge sort of uh, skyscrapers and the business blocks. I'm talking mainly residential. Um, it's just grey. We can't just do stuff that we want to do in order for us to sort of get to what we want to do. We have to be in situations that we don't necessarily enjoy. I am a social person, but I'm one of them people that also likes to keep my own company. Sitting there with social media, you know, constantly taking photos and trying to tell people or trying to show people what I'm doing. It's almost like there's a there's an envy there that I feel like sort of in the background of social media. It's everyone trying to sort of one-up each other. We should just have fun rather than constantly, you know, trying to go to this place or go to this top restaurant, not even necessarily for the experience, but just to take a photo. It seems very sort of fake to me. We are animals at the end of the day. Whilst we have a consciousness compared to our dog or our cat, we are still fundamentally run by instincts and greed is fundamental in our sort of code. You constantly consume stuff and consume more than what we actually need. For example, Whilst we may actually think that we need, you know, this fancy house, we need hot water, we need skincare, we need the hair care and stuff, for example, we don't. Unfortunately, in the society that we've got at the moment, everything around us is just, it's, it's, it's convenient for us. If we have a look at Amazon, for example, if you want something, it only takes a day for it to get there. Or if you want food, you can just go to the supermarket. I think that fundamentally has made us even greedier. We lose the sense of community, we lose the sense of sort of hope, and we lose the sense of ambition because there's no ambition when everything's there for you. I think, you know, one of the sayings is the, the wolf will climb up the hills hungrier than the wolf is, that, that's actually there. And I think that's fundamental in our society at the moment. Everyone's just, because of how convenient everything is, just happy where they are. Whereas no one's looking anymore to sort of get to where they like the best that they want to be. Obviously there's some exceptions, you know, but I'm talking mainly from London in particular as a majority. No one, everyone's happy in their office jobs, everyone's happy sort of doing the day to day, going back, sleeping, go back to work the next day. No one's sort of looking to experience life to the fullest anymore because even though they are working, they can still watch TV and entertain themselves, they can still eat and have a laugh. Society's gonna get worse, 100%. Let's say, you know, oil runs out, for example. How are we going to survive? Everything that our whole society is based on oil. You know, we wouldn't be able to see our friends anymore because obviously we can't drive. We wouldn't be able to go on holiday, you know, for two weeks in Malaga or somewhere like that because obviously planes require fuel. No one can sort of see the direction that we're going and happy where they are but then will happily complain when something bad goes against them, but they haven't got the eyesight to sort of see it's been there from the whole time and this is the path that we've been going on for the last 30, 40 years. We get rid of inheritance completely. And what, what I mean is we have people in this country, for example, that haven't worked a day in their life, but for some reason when they are born are given massive amounts of money. If we can get rid of that completely and start a meritocracy instead of a democracy in, based on the fact that you get what you deserve, essentially. You know, you, you get based on what you're worth. Whilst everyone at the moment tries to believe that, you know, everyone's equal, we're not equal. What I mean by we're not equal is the fact that you are, like, some people may be stronger than me, some people aren't, some people are smarter than me. It is not necessarily, why, why are we sort of deluding the idea that we can achieve what some people, you know, the same as our peers, for example, when some people are just naturally gifted. 
we need to get rid of the idea of the media at the moment. We need a much better system of media in which we get just full objective truth. Look at the words, for example, in these articles. It is the most emotive language in the world, designed to make you feel and react a certain way, which causes divide between us. So it's a nepotistic thing, it's who you know, and it shouldn't be the case. It should be you work and you earn based on how well you do in a certain thing, rather than, you know, you sit about doing nothing and then, oh, your parents died, now you've got all this land. It doesn't make sense to me. I used to think that if every, everyone is equal in opportunity, but from my time, especially last year in London in particular, it's, it's, it's not 100%. Common question I get all the time is, do, do you think that we're free? No, not at all. You may think that you have the freedom to you know, choose your life, but at the end of the day you don't because your choices are based on your current circumstances and at the end of the day your current circumstances aren't yours to control. You've got no control over your parents, you've got no control over where you live. It is all based on other people's choices. You know, I may have chosen the flat that I lived in, but it wasn't by choice. But at the moment, the price of fuel's gone up, the price of food's gone up, the price of rent and you know, real estate's gone up. But the average wage hasn't. And no one is getting raises, especially the blue collar workers, no one's getting raises at all. Understand that whilst as humans, we are essentially fundamentally greedy, you have to be able to fight these natural instincts and you have to, especially, you have to fight this greediness and focus on sense of community rather than being out for yourself because if you're out for yourself, this is the society that we're in at the moment and I think we can all agree that no one in particular can say that they are truly happy.